Oh, I knew it. 100%. I knew it. Last night, I made this tweet. Am I the only one that doesn't think Ditto Nut is an accident? I'm kind of thinking it was on purpose. Niantic's going to be like, huh? You say there's a new Pokemon and have some elaborate plan to announce this thing. And then this morning, Pokemon Company. What's this? Trainers, a new species of Pokemon has just been discovered. What do you think? Should we let you in on some details? Nintendo, Pokemon, and the Pokemon Go app. And it's probably several others. <laughs> and then what happens before I spoil everything? I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna pause this. Okay, we're gonna watch that video in a minute. Don't worry, but let's just read through this. I'm sure you know, but we're gonna read through it anyway. I just got home, I'm settling in and recording this. If you've caught a ditto in Pokemon Go recently, like on Community Day, you might want to take a closer look. We can now confirm reports of wild ditto transforming into the new hex nut Pokemon Meltan. Meltan just got announced. This is the Pokemon that was spawning right after Pokemon Go Community Day after you caught Chikorita. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and load up Pokemon Go right now as we chat. Are there any are there any nearby? There's not. What a surprise. They've been everywhere. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to give more thoughts later, but actually I'm going to check the website in a minute. Uh, let's check the website first and then we're going to come back. So let's go here. What is Mailtan? Look at this picture. I like him. A new species of Pokemon one has never been seen before has been discovered. This is called Meltan. And as of now, it is quite the enigma. It is a steel type Pokemon. It is eight inches tall. It's like this tall. It's like this tall. That's wild. 17.6 pounds. That's insane. Most of Meltan's body is made from liquid metal and its shape is very fluid. It can use liquid arms and legs to corrode metal and absorb it into its own body. <clears throat> Meltan generates electricity using the metal it absorbs from outside sources. It uses this electricity as an energy source and also as an attack that can be fired from its eye. Clearly a curious Pokemon, Miltan is very expressive and shows an interest in all kinds of things. And look at this. Many reports have come in about sightings of Ditto and Pokemon Go that have transformed into Meltan. The number of sightings has significantly decreased over the last few days, but it appears these Meltan are sp still appearing in various areas. Research is being conducted on these appearances of, re of Meltan, but we, we have learned that Pokemon Go is somehow key to meeting this curious new Pokemon in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Look at him! Look at how cute he is! Get in there! Look at how cute he is! Oh my god, the professor's way in! Dead. The appearance of this new Pokemon attracted the attention of Professor Oak and Professor Willard. What do these two experts have to say? Professor Oak does his research on Pokemon at his laboratory, 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 in the Kanto region's Palatown. He's one of the leading authorities in the po field of Pokemon research and Pokemon Let's Go Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. He gives a Pokedex to both you and your rival, entrusting you with his dream of completing it. Willow's research centers around the player field work and the help of Pokemon Go players around the world to fully understand the habits and distribution of Pokemon. He was once an assistant professor for Oak, and it seems he takes... He talks to his mentor whenever he runs into a hitch in research. Now, this is what we're going to check out. Hold on, hold on. I have to make sure that this is correct. Okay. Because I have seen they're kind of after people. So I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen, and we're going to give it a watch. Now, here's my thoughts on Meltan as we watch through this video. I freaking love it. I think it's amazing. I think it's absolutely amazing what they did with this. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. Also, if we go this slow, this video is going to last forever. But I'm afraid to go any faster than this. Um, I'm, I'm afraid to go any faster than this. I should have just been playing this the whole time. Uh, but anyway, I think it's amazing how they... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start clicking through a little bit. So, I think it's really amazing. They basically made it to where we discovered this Pokemon. Now, did it leak beforehand? Yes, sure. It did leak beforehand. But everything leaks nowadays. Very few things actually stay, stay secret. But the way that they did this, the way that they had intended it in their mind, was that they were going to um, they were going to have us as Pokemon Go players, potential shiny. Hold on, pause, pause everything. Not shiny. 
Anyway, they were going to have us as Pokemon trainers discover this thing. And this thing just randomly started showing up. It showed up after Community Day, which they could have been a little more discreet because it was literally the only thing spawning for 30 seconds after. <laughs> um, but I, I, I think it's really cool. I, I think this is the most creative thing that Pokemon has done in a really long time. I got myself several of these. I caught myself several of these. I caught every one I could. Uh, and you can see here on my recents, you can see all these ditto that I got. So I managed to catch, I managed to catch a little bundle of them, a little bundle of them. Okay, I, I think it was super cool. I, now, there's been some talk about, is this, is this Pokemon Gen 8? Is it Gen 7? Is this the exclusive Pokemon? I would imagine this is the exclusive Pokemon that they talked about. Um, that they talked about being... Uh, oh, that you transfer between the two games. Now, real quick before I continue on. Oak is about to talk about how he read this in an ancient text, as Oak does. He says here it's a mythical Pokemon. Now... It's identification number, and you can go online and read more about this, but it's identification number is like 871, or it's 8 something something. Now, Pokemon, the way that they do it is each new Pokemon, each new generation starts at a new 100, meaning Gen 8 would start at 900, because the 800s are already taken because there's over 800 Pokemon already. So Gen 9, the identification would start at... Uh, it would start at 900. For Gen 8, it would start at 900. This guy is in the 800 something, and he's a mythical Pokemon, so he's 7th Gen. So this isn't even the first 8th Gen. I know a lot of people were thinking maybe this is the first 8th Gen Pokemon. Not so. Now, is this going to be something like, um, uh, what's its name? Oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? The Steel Fairy type. Magirna, there we go. Magirna, where it gets announced into one generation, but it doesn't wind up until the ne it doesn't wind up being in the game until the next generation. This is I, I think this is really cool. I also think it's really cool how it's pretty much a Pokemon Go exclusive. I think why are you winking at me? Hey, open your other eye. Anyway, I think it's really cool that it's a Go exclusive Pokemon because I'm uh I'm a Go player. I play Pokemon Go all the time. In fact, I'm just about to hit level 36. I'll probably get it within a week, I would imagine. I just need to find some time to go out and play some more. But I, this was fantastic. Pokemon, if for some reason you're watching, this was fantastic. I loved it. Um, this is another thing just to get me hyped up for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I was already hyped. We're gonna have the best playthrough of this game on YouTube. Period. The most in-depth. We're going to do everything we can. That means we're going to catch every Pokemon. We're going to battle every trainer. We're going to talk to every NPC. We're going to do every single side mission. We're going to do everything. We might not be the first to finish, but it's going to be the best. And I think that's all the info that we got. But this is by far the most hype. I don't feel like I don't need to move anywhere. This is perfect. If you're as excited as I am for Pokemon Let's Go or for Meltan, I freaking love it. I freaking love it. I think it's awesome. And I love the way they did it. I'm going to stop saying the same thing over and over again. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We'll see you in the next Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee update. Until then, have a blessed day.